me about going to teach English abroad, I was a little bit hesitant just because I'm not a native, native English speaker and I saw that a lot of places listed that as a prerequisite. So I thought I'm never gonna get a job, he's gonna have to go on his adventure by himself and I'm not gonna be able to enjoy this amazing thing that it's traveling the world and being able to make money abroad. So after doing some research, I found out that it's not the fact that I'm ESL that it's gonna determine whether I get a job or not. It's the fact that I have a Canadian passport that shows that I'm from a country that first, whose first language is English. So if you do have a passport with that, don't worry, you're gonna be able to get a job. As long as your English is proficient enough and you're able to pass in an interview, then no worries, you're gonna be fine. Now, you might be wondering, hey, I'm also ESL, but I do not have a passport from a country whose language it's English or whose first language is English. And I'm telling you, it's okay. You're still gonna be able to find jobs. You just have to make sure you research ahead of time. There's countries in which the rules and requirements are not as strict as Taiwan. I know that in Taiwan, in order to get a working visa, you have to have the passport. But I've heard from other people that places like Vietnam are not so strict in it. And as long as you're able to show that you're proficient in English through either your scores and through certifications of courses you've taken in English, or even if you went to an English university, that's gonna be enough to show them that you're proficient in English. When I started applying to jobs, I didn't mention that English was my, uh, wasn't my first language. Instead, I just let the recruiters get to know me through the interviews and listen to my English to determine whether I was fluent enough. Um, luckily, I got an offer to a job and that brought me here to Taiwan with the company we're currently working at. And once I was in the company, I was able to tell them that I was not a native speaker and they were actually fine with that because they said that it's actually a plus since I've already been in the shoes of the students who learn English because I learned English growing up in many different schools and I use many different other resources that they have also used. So they saw this as a plus rather than as a negative thing. So I was focusing a lot on the negatives of being ESL, but there's actually a lot of positive and a lot of advantages. One of them being that I can relate to the students since I also go, uh, went through the learning process and I can know how it feels to go to a class and just dread it because you don't want to be there. So I try to make my classes as fun as I can. Also, I've used some of the resources that we're currently using in class. So all the exercises, all the practice, all the quizzes, everything I've done already. So I know how to better adjust it for them to be able to understand it more. So I've learned that there was nothing to worry about. Being ESL does not prevent you from getting a job and some companies actually like it better. If you do not have a passport who's country, first language is English. Don't worry, you can still get a job, you just need to do a little bit more of light work. So if you have any questions about finding jobs in Taiwan being ESL, make sure to let us know in the comment section below and like our video. If you want to see more of Nomad Bears, make sure to subscribe down below. See ya!